Hi there! Wouldn't it be great if you actually did something meaningful for someone before the end of the year? Uh, sure, I guess that'd be pretty cool. What if a stranger restored your belief in humanity, if only for a moment, by supporting you and allowing you to claim something you need in an important or significant way? Huh, that'd actually be pretty nice. Well, you've come to the right place, here at Reparations.com. Wait, Reparations? We invite people of color to ask for what we need to feel better, be happier, be more productive by posting in this space. These may be both significant and insignificant requests. Okay, I don't know why you're only asking people of color and not just people in general, but I guess that sounds alright. We invite people who identify as white to offer services or contributions to people of color in need of time, energy, substantive care, and support. You... can't be serious. Of course we are. Oh lord, this... this can't be for real. Please tell me this isn't for real. This is Reparations.com. On the surface, this actually sounds like a brilliant idea. If you have something to offer, like an old stroller or some tutoring, you can offer it. And if you're in need of something like back-to-school clothes or a vacuum cleaner, you can make a request. This actually is a brilliant idea until you realize it's a one-way street. If you're white, you're only allowed to make offers, and if you're black or Asian or whoever else is considered a person of color, you can only make requests. May I ask why? Why does this have to be about race? Why is it necessary for something as simple as being kind to a fellow human being to be tied to the color of a person's skin? Is there some law that requires everything to be made about race now? Am I going to have to check a box saying I'm a Caucasian male whenever I go to buy milk? Yeah, I know what this is really about. This is meant to invoke white guilt for slavery, Jim Crow, and all the other crap that no one under the age of 60 had anything to do with. Now to be fair, I can't find anything specifically citing Jim Crow or slavery on this site. But what other reason would you have for making a website where only whites can give and only blacks can receive? And why else would it be called reparations? The definition being the making of amends for a wrong one has done by paying money to or otherwise helping those who have been wronged. Is there any other way that could possibly be interpreted? I would be glad to hear it. And I know that poverty is obviously an issue that affects black people disproportionately, but it's not like white people can't be poor. On top of that, if you're trying to combat racism, shouldn't you try to dispel stereotypes? Like the stereotype that black people are lazy or are always looking for handouts? Because this site is definitely not helping with that. I'm sorry, but there is no legitimate reason for this site to have any mention of race. And lastly, there's the troll fund. Basically, every time someone writes a nasty message about this site, a dollar gets donated from the troll fund to someone who's requested financial support. What sense does that make? You're either going to end up with more hate messages than money donated, in which case it'll pretty much just become a regular donation feature, or you'll get less hate messages than dollars donated, in which case you'll just have a bunch of money off to the side doing nothing that could be helping people. And then they have the Shrine of a hats. Like, really? I don't automatically invalidate what someone has to say just because they use profanity, but there's a time and place for it. When Alex from IHE was exchanging emails with Derek Savage, he didn't swear because he was in a position where he needed to act rational and mature. And even if they didn't swear in it, the fact that they have an entire Facebook page dedicated to giving attention to trolls is just ludicrous. Aren't trolls generally attention seekers? Don't people usually troll because of the fact that it's easier to get attention by doing something that's clearly wrong to gain notoriety than doing something good that's worth having attention drawn to? On top of that, some of these aren't even trolls. They're people with legitimate criticisms against the website. But of course they're just branded as trolls. Pretty much taking the T-Moss boss approach to dealing with criticism. Who knows, maybe my giant cartoon head will be featured here too.
That's really all I have to say about this site. It's both tragic and ironic that such a good idea found its way into the mind of a regressive leftist. It's not like I have a problem with a white person helping out a black person, but there's no reason to force it. If it was just about people helping other people, then there would probably be a good chunk of white people who just happen to end up helping black people. But apparently we can't have black people helping others, or have white people being helped. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.